Right, hello my friends. Today we spent a grand on Wish.com, which, if you're not familiar, it's like Amazon for completely useless tat. It's like Knock Off Central, everything is insanely cheap. Uh, so we have a hundred items and a good bin, and we've got a bad bin. And our aim today is to put five things in the good bin. First up, right, Bluetooth hat. This has reviews such as, this is exactly what I want. And John says, it's an excellent a producto. So I've got high hopes. You connect your phone to it, and while you're going for a stroll, you can listen to your tunes and keep toasty. However, you will not want to do that without your smart glasses, Bluetooth 5.3 calling sunglasses, sport HD audio, hands-free, anti-blue eyeglasses, outdoor device while you do. And these, uh, these play tunes as well. Nobody has ever said, I wish my sunglasses played songs or my beanie either. It's 25 quid, the audio is terrible. Absolute waste of time. Next up, Nine Styles Fashion Earring Charming Butterfly Fish Ear Clip. Uh-huh. Look at that, eh? Fucking Rhaegar Targaryen. I don't even know if that's a character. Shite! All right, my friends, apparently our next item makes children fall in love instantly. And it is this, the Rocket Boom Bubblegum Bazooka. So what this is, is a gun that shoots bubbles. Pretty naff though, because you don't like just put bubble stuff on the top and then it comes out. You've got to like dip it every time. Apps, there was four, shite. Next. Now this might look like a bit of red cloth to you, but this is actually magic silk. Well, it says on the advert anyway, uh, that you're supposed to put it through and then it, it comes through. I'm assuming it's like a magic trick, um, but I truly do not see how it's done. Like there's no like holes. It's I, I've bought a sheet of felt for three quid. I've been scammed. All right, next up, <coughs> my friends. This is a waterproof suit, but not only uh, because we've also got waterproof shoe covers. Now it's said on the thing, these were one size fits all. I think we might have been misled. A grand total of 12 great British pounds down the drain. Absolute and utter tat. But fear not, because what do we have next? A peeler for your pineapples. It's gonna be a long afternoon. So what you do here, my friends, right, is you chop off the top of... Do we get the knife from Wish as well, like? You chop off the top of your pineapple. I'm assuming uh, you whack this in here and you twist. Ah, okay. I do feel like I could lose a finger at any given point here. Oh, and you twist. Oh, hang on, have we actually got a good product five minutes in? Okay, this is great, but how do you get your... <laughs> All right. Okay, moving on to the world's smallest fidget spinner. Now this has 93 five-star ratings that says great fidget spinner, about the size of a dime and very quiet and discreet. This is my favorite spinner yet. Then Lee here, uh, he said, it's tiny and worked perfectly. Love it. One star. It does go like three pounds. Like realistically, uh, that is lunch. Um, so it's going in the bad bin. All right, you lot, I tell you what you really need, a light up bow tie. Yeah, yeah, really good, eh? Like what event does this work for? Like where on earth can you actually wear this? Someone let me know, uh, because if you do find where you can wear this, you can also get yourself a light up hat and tie as well. I don't know how much this costs, but I know where it's going. So we might have had no luck so far. However, it's coming up to winter, it's getting cold. So what's better than normal gloves? Light up gloves, no, I'm kidding. Heated gloves. Now these are 20 great British pounds. This is one of the more spenny items you can get on Wish. Do you know how you turn them on? So they're warm up gloves uh, that don't warm up. Next up, okay, all right, what we got? What we got in the bag? Oh, lovely. What a gorgeous, gorgeous bag. We've got a deer, can you see the deer? We've got six pixels of a deer. All right, now looking in the viewfinder, I actually don't mind that. <laughs> that looks quite nice. However, if you went around someone's house and they had this, like what it's made for, it's not good at. So don't for one second think this would have gone in the good bin. All right, next up, my friends, we have um, the men's Spanx. Oh God, oh that. <laughs> Oh, that, that, that feels inappropriate. I'm not quite sure what women's spanks do. I don't know if it's supposed to like make me more shapely. <laughs> Look at my fat fucking ass. Yeah, there's your, there's your men's spanks. I'm not sure I need spanks though, so we, um, we can probably put those in the bad bin. Okay, bring that here. 
Bring that here. We're in business here. We might have got something useful. <laughs> Mate, Mate, for a pound, genuinely a wonderful piece of equipment, finally something that can go in the good bin. <laughs> Some good value. I can't believe, I can't believe we've actually done that. All right, next up my friends, uh, so say you're on the building site, right, it's July, it's boiling, it's 36 degrees out. So what you need there is a hard hat with two fans and three solar panels. Now this will knock you back 40 quid, but don't pay attention to that because it's really good and really worth it. Um, how do we turn it on? It almost looks like the solar panels make it less safe. Like it's just, I don't know, this bit, I feel like this bit's saving you from head trauma, but this way it's going straight through. There is one problem with this though, my friends. It doesn't work. Ooh, stun gun. Mikey, could you come here, please? What is this? Oh Whoa! my God, what the fuck? Sorry. That's exactly what it said on the tin for a fiver. That's in the good bin. Was it this broken when you got it? This has been used in prisons, hasn't it? Yeah, yeah it does look a bit knackered. Oh, and the, the uh, advert's been taken down. Do you want to do it to yourself? No, I, I can't like do it to myself. Are you sure? Just do it. <laughs> I, don't, I can't do it. I can't do it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> That's great it's shit. That's so good. Ah! Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> yeah, really good. Yeah, All right. Really good. <laughs> uh, next up, my friends, is something you can also use in prison. Some portable soap. Oh, yeah, it's soap. <laughs> and it says on it, I love carrots. That is three quid, probably more expensive than a bar of soap. Um, I, I just don't see any reason to not have a bar of soap. All right, lads, are you ready for the big hitter of this video? Because for 25 pounds, I got myself a brand new Rolex. Now this is fake, you know, I will admit, uh, but it's one of those fakes like, you know, it's really hard to tell. Aha, so my friends, this is not something you put up your bottom. This is a fidget spinner. However, right, it's not like any other fidget spinner. This one, you don't actually have to spin on it. You can just blow. Shite. All right, my friends, next up we have this water bottle. However, right, this is not any water bottle because, right, say it's a hot day, right, and your hard hat with two fans and solar panels on it isn't working. Fear not, because this water bottle, you can drink from it, but you can also, oh, you can refresh yourself with the little squirty, um, squirty top bit. It works. Uh, and this is only two pounds. So I'm kind of inclined to put it in the good bin. It's a water bottle and we didn't need to add the squirter. Like, but it does do what it says on the tin and it is two pounds. I'm gonna give it, I'm gonna give it. We've got three out of five. We're nearly there. Okay, next up, Alien Baby. This is 32 pounds and 49 pence. I don't know if it does anything apart from just being a big bald alien child, no. One of the reviews uh, is complaining that it doesn't come with a birth certificate. Does it like, is there buttons or? No. We have, <laughs> okay. We have a keychain of a baby, but the baby has a massive lumberjack beard. Now this, We'll set you back two pounds and four pence, which isn't bad. I just don't know what it's supposed to be. Complete and utter tat. Like, people have designed this. They paid someone five pence to make it in a sweatshop. It's just like the amount of effort that's gone into making something so pointless is borderline impressive. Next. <laughs> All right, you lot, now, uh, you've heard of socks. You've all got socks. However, do you have socks that make your feet look like bacon? Because I, <laughs> that is grim. There you go, eh? there's your content. That was one pound 60 pence. You might as well just burn the cash. It'd be, just be better for everyone involved. Okay, next up on our list, the production team decided to buy uh, Nicolas Cage sweatpants. They're actually kind of comfy. Cindy has sent in a picture review here and it probably explains a lot. Looks like she does copious amounts of amphetamine. She says she, she loves it to cheer her up when she's having a bad day. She now wants one with Eddie Van Halen. No prizes for guessing which country Cindy comes from. We actually did buy the t-shirt, but the t-shirt didn't show up. It says here a few of the reviews are saying you just either get one or the other. Good stuff. 
Thank you, Nicholas. Next up, my friends, we have Hell's Smoke. Apparently this is for some prank joke mystical fun. And the first review says, uh, it gave me a third degree burn. Oh, no, <laughs> there's no smoke, it just makes a mess. Use a lighter. Huh? All right, well, it's just a, what a complete waste of time. Oh, what's that? That's my, why are you doing my belt? Oh. Absolute total shite. Shite. All right, next up, my friends, we have one of those. This looks like one of those as seen on TV ones. This is like a garlic chopper. So we whack our garlic in there and then we don't even have to bash it. We just press a button and it mashes it itself. Okay, uh, so we, uh, we're on. Ah, wow. Oh my God, it works. Okay, that does the job it says it wanted to do. It just falls apart every single time you have it. Hang on. It's tat. Our next thing is the baby wooden toys blow hobby. And you blow on this um, and you have loads of fun. It's not terrible. Uh, it's not great. Has it improved my life in any way? No. Okay, then for £6.50, you can look like Dana White. Oh, fucking hell, I couldn't breathe. <coughs> All right, next up, you know, we have a red cube, right? Now the red cube costs us £1.27. It's spongy uh, and we'd all agree this is a cube, yes? Oh, wrong, <laughs> there's a ball in it. Oh, what's that? <laughs> Two balls in it. Wow, crazy magic, uh, load of shite. This you put on top of Coke bottles, right? And instead of having to buy a watering can, which is probably like a tenner, this is two pounds. You put this on top of like a water bottle and you can screw your, your crops and your plants and stuff. All right, now it's not working here, but I actually think this is a good thing. Oh, it doesn't work. What a shame. Next up, my friends. Now, you actually can't buy these because they're so popular they've sold out. This is a three pound set of dentures and I'm assuming you just whack on like that. For the three quid you spend, you don't get like your normal set of teeth. You just got like 15 front teeth. Yeah, I'm really good. Sold out. Fucking piss take. Next up, uh, this is a hat, but not just any hat. It's a hat with hair on it because everyone Everyone wants their wigs to have big bands on the front of them. Now the reviews for this product, uh, it's just <laughs> a bunch of really happy bald men. So to be fair, it looks like it's providing some people with a lot of value. Oh God, that looks quite natural, I will say. I think this might be good. It's two pounds. Everyone who's bought it's happy with it because they're bald and they don't look bald anymore. You know what? Good, good stuff. Oh, what's that? Another creepy alien doll. I wonder where that's going. Oh, it's an iron. Okay, brilliant. Next up, we have can resealers. It's 10 a.m. in the morning, my friend, so I, I am not gonna drink the beer. Uh, however, when you're done, you just slip, oh, just dead easy. You just, you just slip your resealer on and wow, you can never spill your drink again. Oh, good. All right. This, I think this might be genius. This is a spoon that you use in the kitchen whilst you're baking or you're cooking or whatever, and it weighs whatever's in it. We get our garlic, yeah, we say, ooh, I wonder how much garlic this is. 14 grams of garlic. And, right, to top this all off, it's two quid, right? Two pounds 30, I know exactly how much garlic's going in me casserole. Genius. Welcome to the stage, magic tape. Now, this is sellotape. Um, but it's reusable and washable, apparently. And you can make it do funny waves. That is just total, total tat. What you're supposed to use it for is like sticking your keys and shit to the wall. Do that to the phone. Okay, nice. And we stick it to the wall. That solves all of my problems. All right, you lot, so this is a men, women, ice silk arm sleeve. On the picture, it looks like something from Frozen. It's just come here without the ice part. So we've just got some arm tights. This is what we got. This is what we thought we bought. All right, next up, you lot, we have a, an onion peeler, dicer, chopper. I thought the tool itself, oh, which has fallen apart, would do the chopping, but I assume you have to like put your knife in between these slots. That is 
utterly useless. All right, next up we have the world's tiniest Bluetooth speaker. Because yeah, that, that screams quality. Let's make it really small. Everyone really needs the speakers to be tiny. Hello, my friends. Uh, welcome to Wow. Alaska. Listen to that amazing sound quality. For five pounds and being the size of a thimble, like, that's not actually that bad. Problem is, right, it would just be, it would sound better if you just played it from here. There is no reason for this to exist at all. Oh, okay, okay. Rubber turkey catapult. Okay, so my friends, what you do is you stick your finger uh, in his orifice. <laughs> Sick! Straight in the good bin! Next up, we have, right, a mask. Now, what you would think uh, the function of a mask is, right, is to cover your mouth completely at all times. However, you'd be wrong. Say you need to eat box or smoke a tab, but a wish has got you covered. <laughs> okay? Oh, really good. Ha <laughs> ha! However, I tricked you, my friends. That wasn't my tongue. That's our next product, the Magic Prank Tongue. Now, I got you there uh, for one great British pound. Uh, that is the single most disgusting thing I've ever held in my hands. And that truly is saying something. Both tat. The way you're supposed to use this, lads, is there you go like this. That's actually lovely. It's really nice. I just can't think of any time you'd ever have to use it. Really good. All right, next up my friends, I need to wear the mask again um, because we've got a hands-free fan. So what you do is you put this in here and it just keeps you nice and cool. Absolute shite. Ooh, back scratcher, £2.71. Oh! Dendy back scratcher. Oh, come here. Oh, hello, you. Oh, nice. Shite. Okay, this is obviously uh, an anti snoring device. So when you're asleep, you like your tongue in here and you, you... I'm gonna die. Put tongue in the tube and adjust the suction to comfortable position, preventing it from falling back into the throat. Yeah, thank you, Wish. That sounds really good and really safe. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's a yoga swing. Right, fuck off. That's the end of the video. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you all very later. Goodbye.